Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. In the last episode, we were in control of Seth, Zed, and Tolton, and we got the Nautilus. But then the game switched to this party. Uh, Jansen, Ming, Mac, and Cook. And we finished the Frozen Trail and made our way here to the Goatson Refugee Camp. So, basically, out of the freezer and into the frying pan. So, it's the reverse of Final Fantasy X. In Final Fantasy X, it was out of the frying pan and into the freezer. And this, it's reversed. Out of the freezer and into the frying pan. I say that because they were... Jansen was referencing how warm it was here in the last episode. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to the people around here. We literally just got here in the last episode. I saved it and immediately quit. Hey, hey. Welcome. Glad you're still in one piece. Take a load off. Well, three people could have died. Ming's immortal, so... <laughs> it's freezing cold out, but the hot spring keeps everything warm in here. I'm certainly glad I ended up here, let me tell you. I'm only going to talk to NPCs one time for the rest of the episode. I know sometimes they have two things to say and everything, but a lot of times they don't really have anything interesting to say the second time. It's mainly just reiterating what they said the first time. So going forward, I'm only going to be talking to NPCs one time. Everyone's giving their all here. It's important we work together in times like these, you know. Yeah, this, is ba this area is basically where the Goatsons went. Because, as you know, goats have got frozen over. Sober for Goatsa. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, he's not wrong. But Goatsa is attacking Ura as well, as we, as we speak. I just fell upon us like a great monster. Everything was pulverized in an instant. Yep. I can't believe it. I could go to be toppled by mere ice. Well, I mean, it's freaking ice. What are you going to do against ice? Unless you have like a giant heater surrounding your city. You know, there's not much you could do against ice. I like guess just obvious. By the way, I did miss a seed. And, um, you know that episode where we were controlling Cook and Mac? There was a seed I could have got, but I ended up missing it. It's okay, though. I'm not panicking. I don't like missing things, though. You guys know I hate missing things. But it's okay because we can get, it, we can get the seed back that we missed. And, um, and on this four, so we're okay. I'm not panicking, I swear. Hey, guess what? Being cold doesn't bother the Kents at all. Yeah, because they have a bunch of fur. They're like dog men, I guess. That's what they look like. <laughs> the Kents sure have big ears. I bet they can hear things from miles away. Yeah, just like dogs. Dog, do, dogs can hear things that we can't hear. Puh, everywhere I go, kids ask me the same questions about my kind. So if you wonder why dogs bark sometimes, like, they may hear something that we don't hear, you know, like. They have a lot better hearing than we do. All the goats since I knew before always acted like they were far better than me. But the people here are nice and kind. Monster hordes are supposed to be lurking around here. They could enter this camp at any time, yeah. True. You all be dead. If it does happen. Four monster bird plumes. Okay, hunter ring. 
Inflicts massive damage on aerial enemies. Okay. And then Dinosaur Ring Ultra. Boulder Ring. Frequently causes Petrify. Fainting Ring Ultra. There's a ton of rings in this game, like, like a ridiculous amount. Oh dear. What's up? You got customers now? Well, looks so down in the dumps. No, it's just well, monsters have started to appear around camp. And these ones are unusually well organized. Several people have been injured already, trying to run away from them. And some have been killed while looking for food and medicine. It's a troubling situation. I know you guys look strong enough. Can I ask you a favor? The Jai Laplaws that appear along the trail have a habit of crying out for help to their legions of friends whenever they're in trouble. You let them cry out often enough or attract the attention of their leader, Don Laplos. Beating him will surely settle all the others down. Okay. Could you kill Don Laplos and bring us its claws as proof? You'll be simply rewarded for doing us this great favor. Okay. We can do that. I think I have a rough edge, but I might be wrong. New weapon for Mac there. Wrath Minder. Holy Scepter. Herbalist Badge. I might get some of these for my uh, immortals or my mortal characters. I might get one for my mortal char mortal character. That actually, seems like it'd be pretty good, right? Find some of these, because why not? Let's see here. Um, yeah, let's equip that uh potion booster I got. Herbalist badge. So now he'll restore more HP when he uses healing items. See if we can make any more rings now that I bought a bunch of those items. Hacker ring. Make venom ring and toxin ring as well. Sleep Ring Ultra. All right, let's go take on these those one things and fight fight the the Dawn thing. I want to go complete that side quest now. That seems like fun. I like fighting those things anyway. I bought a uh, Dragon's Dogma too, but I'm not gonna do a walkthrough of that game yet. I'm gonna do like boss battles for that game. That came out recently. Um, you guys know I'm a JRPG nut. Just a little bit of backstory on me. I've been playing JRPG since 2001. So just... 
almost exclusively play JRPGs. If you sub to this channel, you already know that, but um, I wanted to bring that up to people who aren't subbed. It's not the enemy we want to fight. I can't afford to lose. Potion booster. It's nice that she has double accessories. You can learn twice as many things. She just needs to get a uh, double SP from Zed. But Zed's not in the party right now, so nothing I could do about it. Nothing I could do about it. You have to fight around here basically. You can't go that way. <laughs> Yikes. This is the enemy we need to fight. Evading everything. Max an evasion tank. Kill him. I need him to cry. Be side rasp. Okay, cool. Oh, cry, you dummy. Oh, they need to be alone, I think. Yeah, I think we need to take one of them out. I hope Mac doesn't counterattack. It's gonna make me mad. Can we heal those things? Oh, if you can't heal enemies in this game, that sucks. Can we shield it? No, we can't shield it either. Come on, man, that's stupid. I want to be able to heal my enemies. Act, don't you, don't you counter, bro? Actually, I think we can hit it one time. I think. Or no, he might paralyze it though. I don't think he can dodge when he's defending, so that's good at least. I forgot to equip Max's new weapon too. I'm 
Let's attack with Cook. She probably does less damage. Come on, summon your boss. Nope. Oh, she did more damage. What am I talking about? Well, she did get a perfect, I guess. That's probably why. I can't hit it again. If, if I do, it'll die. I hope it's going to die anyway. Damn it. You don't get any more SP or e gold either for fighting more of them. Kind of sucks. So I was kind of a waste of a battle. Ah, this battle. Just learned level 6 black magic. Alright. Let's see what spells we have access to now. Okay, we got wind mine now. Wind elemental counterattack and then also jamming. Slows down the magic casting time of one enemy. Eh, it's kind of trash. Who cares about that? That's boring. I'll be good against Gungora though. I don't know. I don't know what. Who's the final boss of this game? Actually, don't tell me that. I'll ban you from the channel if you tell me the final boss. I'm assuming it's Gungora. So if you say Gungora, then I probably wouldn't be surprised by that. Unless, my theory for this game, this is just a theory, Gungora is being brainwashed by the actual villain. But well, that's just a, a theory of mine, I don't know. I have many theories. I have one theory that Gungora is actually the final boss. He's just like... He's like super powerful at that point. Um, you know. And... Um, He's a lot more powerful than he is now, and then he's the he's the final boss. You beat him, and then I'm assuming your characters become mortal again, or something. But I don't know. Speeds up the skill activation time of one party member. Okay, slows down the skill activation time of one enemy. So it's basically like opposite this one's for magic enemies this one's for physical enemies interesting anyway I'll be right back after we after I encounter the Don Laplos or whatever it's taking too long so I'll be right back Oh hey, there's actually new enemies around here. Auron and White Terror. These aren't the same enemies we fought before. In that one area. I don't think they're the same anyway. No, because these are Element Earth. The ones in Ice Canyon didn't have an element. So they are new. 
These are new enemies. It looks like the enemy in the ice canyon, but it's not. It's a pallet swap. That's cool. That's the first time we fought one of those. That must be pretty rare. Alright, but now I'll be right back again. Alright, the Donna showed up. Don Laplos. Okay, I don't know if it's the boss or not. It might be my all bosses video, I'm not sure. But, uh... We'll see. There will be commentary if it is. Oh yeah, he does a lot more damage. Oh crap. Five of them things. More than, th more than three of them things. Oh, it can also poison you too, the Dom. How oh, dare you poison Mac. The Dawn is actually fire element instead of a uh, wind. Now we're just going to take out the Dawn. The Barquera. I don't know how much HP it has. There we go, got it. A dawn defeated. That seemed like a needless battle. And we get the dawn Laplos Claw. You automatically get it for winning the battle. Cook on level six white level six white magic. I'm not gonna put that in my boss's video. That wasn't a boss battle. That was too easy to be a boss. But uh we'll check out white magic. Level six revive. So it's a small amount of HP to HP of a KO'd party member. Wow, getting revived so late in the game. Hironobu Sakaguchi values life. Obviously the only way to revive earlier was to do to use angel plumes, which are basically Phoenix Downs. But now we finally have life, guys. We finally have the life spell. But you usually get the life spell early on in Final Fantasy. Alright, let's sit on in here. We'll give him the claw and complete the side quest. Sacred Torch and Sacred Ring. New weapon for Cook. Inflicts severe wind damage, inflicts massive damage on mechanical enemies, frequently causes sleep. Okay. We Gucci man. I like to heal with those outside of battle. I'm gonna buy eight of those for later. Ho 
holy crap, there's a spin. I am buying those. I thought they were cheaper than that. We're going to need those for a ball spittle, those bombs, though, but I can't buy them now. They're too damn expensive. One here has been defeated. That'll put monsters in their place. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Their seed, all right. You guys come from outside? My, you must be tired then. Why don't you rest on the bed in that tent over there? My grandfather was hit by the ice, but he's a lot better now. They're taking very good care of him here. Wow, an anti paralysis herb, seriously? That's it? This tent is for the sick and injured. You can visit whomever you'd like, but just keep it quiet, alright? Wow, rude. Is there any truth to what I heard about goods being destroyed? Yes, it is destroyed. I thought I was going to die there for a moment. Yeah, you probably would have if you would have stayed. So, okay, I made it here. This place seems to be like an old Goldson army base. And it's quite sturdy. There's even a hot spring to fend off the cold. Neat, don't you think? Speaking of which, did you hear about the box of army supplies? It fell into the spring as everyone was running in here. Most of the contents have been brought up. Maybe there's still some stuff left in the water. I could try to look and once I get better. Alright, let me start up a video for that because it's going to be a mall treasure video. Alright, the next treasure hint can be gotten here in the goats and refugee camp from this man here that I'm talking to. The army dropped a box of supplies near the hot springs in the goats and refugee camp. An item in at the hot spring. I'll go ahead and show you what tent this is in. Right here. And then we'll go find the treasure now. This is the medical tent, by the way. We should have 79 at this point, I think. So you're the ones who eradicated the monsters. Well, thank you. That is such a relief. Hey, did you really come back here... With the monster's claws, well, wow. took care of them all. Yeah, so we can put that side quest. Now people are praising us around here. That's kind of cool. Zoom in on those people over there like creeps, like a creep. Alright, I found the treasure. It's right here. Climb down that ladder there. Make your way over to here where I'm at. And we'll go ahead and get the treasure. Uh, this treasure has Spire Commander and Spire Ring. We'll go ahead and check that out. I'll show you what it is. It's a weapon for Jansen only. The Spire Commander and the Spire Ring. Inflicts severe water damage. Inflicts massive damage on magical enemies. And then frequently causes poison. 